Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. I have a little simple story to tell today. Um, it was uh, in the spring of 1998, and I had uh, left AT&T. What they did is I, I worked for the um, International Public Relations Department in the Africa's region, and they did away with our public relations division and farmed it out to a, a private company. So I find myself out of work. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had put my name in, in New Jersey, we call them uh, headhunters, uh, uh, you know, uh, personnel offices and that kind of thing. And I was having a really hard time finding a job. But um, every morning I would wake up and put fresh water in the bird bath in my backyard. And it was every morning this turkey would be there to greet me. And we would more or less communicate with each other. And turkeys, I can't recreate the sound they make, but they gobble. And uh, I would talk to the turkey, dump out the old water, clean out the bird bath, and put fresh water in. And in that process, sort of communicate with this turkey. And uh, I think it was about that was for about six or seven months. And then I got a job and sadly lost touch with my friend, the turkey. But I was thinking about it yesterday, how this turkey came into my life. This wild turkey, we had a forest in the back of our house, it came from the forest. And uh, I went out and bought turkey feed for it, for the turkey, and would feed the turkey every morning. And then I got a job at the ad agency and lost track of the turkey. And while I was happy to get a job, I was sad that I didn't have that time in the morning you know, it'd be about 7.30, between 7.30 and 8.30 every morning. Spend 15 or 20 minutes in the morning communing with, with my friend the turkey before going out to an employment agency or a headhunter or an interview and all that, or work on my resume somewhere and all that kind of thing. So um, I have photos of the turkey. So I'll show those to you right now. So these are actual photographs I took of my friend, the turkey. And uh, there's the bird bath there. And it was just a wonderful little time, maybe 15, 20 minutes every morning I would spend with this wild turkey. And uh, you can see him. I uh, bought turkey feed for him. And uh, we had a friendship, which seems like a funny kind of thing. Uh, you don't think of uh, having a friendship with a wild turkey. But we did, in fact, have a friendship. I was thinking about this wild turkey yesterday a lot. And, uh, you know, in a, in, in, a, in a strange kind of way, um, the good Lord brought him to me. He was always a source of upliftment for me, of encouragement and of joy at um, a somewhat tough time in my life. 
it's just a wonderful, wonderful little wild, little wild turkey. And uh, I love them very much. In the right hand side there, that's the side of the old barn. And right uh, in back of the turkey there is uh, the old apple tree. I love this photo, He, the turkey, he just looks so proud and majestic. I truly believe that the good Lord brought this wild turkey into my life back in uh, the spring of 1998, a time when I was just going through a rough time, sending out resumes, going to headhunters, going to interviews. You know, anyone who's gone through that process knows it's not easy when you're in your late 40s. God bless you, dear turkey friend. So, YouTube friends, that's going to wrap it up for today's vlog. Um, just a little change of pace, a little story. Um, a little bit different than the usual uh, vlog um, I put up. But I figured, why not, you know, have a little change of pace. So, uh, I hope you... Uh, you know, not every, it's not every vlog to go someplace and travel in the car and that kind of thing. So I hope you enjoyed it. So without further ado, I'll close. Um, oh, please do. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Appreciate it very much. And also, uh, if you like this uh, vlog, please hit the like button. So um, I'm going to close. So stay safe. Stay happy. And be kind to wild turkeys. <laughs> this is Richard Navy. Signing off.